We do have it. You want to be in the video? You want to do the intro for us? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're terrible pool players, by the way. Oh, we're terrible. Yeah, I know. This is not professional pool, by the way. <laughs> Just uh, FYI. Guys, this is JM. I'm here with my friend Clem. You asked for it, so we're giving it to you. This is 21 questions with Clem. How are we doing? Oh, mate, really good. Excited? As you, as you can tell, yes. I'm really good. So we are in the airport in Bahrain. I was here to do the, the WEC race and Clem was here to do the test. We'll get into that later. But for now, we're going to just play some pool. This is a serious interview, Clem. So this I is a serious to... interview. Oof, I cannot mess about. No, it's just so you know. I'm going to ask you some deep questions and everything is going to be coming from, uh, from the fans. Right? I'm not making any of this stuff up. Let me Good. first. There you go. What did we get? That's a stripe. Uh, you got oh. stripes. Double. That's one stripe. So Clem, the first question, <laughs> how big is your dick? Jeez. Uh, well. <laughs> what the? What kind of... Uh, well, I've never conducted an interview quite like this one before. I mean, I, I, this is definitely what I was expecting uh, right off the bat. How can I put it? It's lightly? okay. We can, no, we, it's fine. It's no, fine. No, no, You're no. not comfortable sharing. You must have your reasons. No, 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 no. I've got my reasons. Clem, what is your favorite number? That's a better starting question. <laughs> yeah, actually, that is a lot better. You can ask me the other one later <laughs> on um, once I've had a few drinks. Um, favorite number is 17. 17? Okay. Why is that? Dad's birthday. You gotta play. And uh, yeah, no. Dad's no. birthday. Yeah, this is actually a really good angle to play. Um. Yeah. Here you go. I thought you said you were good. No, I'm terrible. Childhood racing hero. Juan Manuel Correa. I appreciate that. But I think probably my childhood hero in karting was probably Nicholas Nielsen. Because I think we'll was, both agree that he was the best he was the guy man to in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew he what was, he was doing. He was a good guy. Yeah. All right, let's move on. How many languages do you speak? So I speak French and English fluently. And then I'm a pretty poor at Portuguese, but I like to think that I'm actually decent. Spanish, average. Yeah. But not well enough. There we go. Yeah, no, I'm just warming up. Just warming up? Yeah. How did we meet? Do you know what? I can't actually remember. I think Wasn't I think it? we met at a karting track. But, For sure. You're right? Yeah. I but I think been... the first proper time we actually met was TRS. Um, you know? Yeah, I reckon so. F***ing hell. Um, I think what was the... that? What, you just do that and just keep talking like it's nothing? Yeah. It's the usual, you know? Are you the stripes or no, am I supposed I'm, to get some stripes. of yours in? I'm the stripes. Don't get no, the yeah, stripes. we met in TRS because it was a bit of a crazy season. Obviously, it was me, you, Schwartzman, Marcus, and a lot of uh, Richard was there as well. Richard was there. Yeah. And it was a bit of a, um, how could I call it? Um, <laughs> this is so <laughs> difficult. <laughs> you have to be able to do two things Bro. at once, man. Come on. It was flowing. It, yeah, it this is not a school interview. This is not a. I'm not interviewing you for a job. Almost. Um, yeah, it was like my first, let's say, deep dive into um, motorsports. And what do you mean your first deep dive into motorsports? You've been karting. racing by ten years by then. No, not karting, but you know what I mean. The the, mm. the, the racing or sing, single seaters and stuff. Because you guys have been doing F4, and I'd opted yeah, to yeah. do an extra year in um, in karting to skip yeah. out on that F4. Yeah. So as a result, I never really got to race you guys right. until quite a lot later. Yeah. But it was good times. It was a good it, time. It was a, it was a crazy five weeks, I think, if you remember correctly. It was, it was, it was cool, man. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> What's your favorite memory of us? To be honest, picking out a singular moment is difficult. So many because, beautiful moments. Well, we've shared a lot of good moments and you're one of the, probably one of the most mature and guys I enjoy spending a lot of time in the paddock with, especially in F2. I think nowadays this year, we, we're probably the old ones. <laughs> yeah, we have become somehow we, we've become the, 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 guys. The, the veterans. So as a result, um, it, I, I think this year as a whole has been fun because obviously we, we, we shared the fact that we're racing 18 year olds and uh, Let's say we've been around for quite a long time, but um, no, yeah, obviously a lot of things 
<clears throat> a lot of good moments and uh, hopefully many more. I think my favorite memory with you? I'd prob I was probably steamed. No? Maybe? Uh, did you put one in or? Yeah, yeah, of course. You're going? I'm going yeah. again, mate. Might yeah. be, honestly, might be when you won Sandward this year. You got, you got lucky there, man. I know. Um, you winning Sandward was awesome. Like, really? Just, yeah, honestly, like, I think that was, what the I think that was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> this game is going to be a lot. We're going to have gonna to do be. like three games. Oh, this is a good one. So Clem, yeah. what does it take to be a backbone? Ah, it's a very difficult question. A backbone is, is generally speaking a person who is just, just, just a, it, 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 it can't even be explained, you know, you're just a backbone or you're not. You either are or you aren't. Yeah, like you are a massive backbone. I am a massive backbone. Yeah, yeah massive. Um, a lot of the Screaming Mills fans are huge backbones. Yeah. Most of them are actually, all of them are. I mean, they watch our videos. That's a backbone act in itself. That is a backbone act. As, as watching your videos. That's yeah, another backbone Yeah, because that was my next question. Am I a backbone? And oh, what, you're a What huge makes backbone. me a backbone? Your persona, sure. the way, the way you, you project your voice out to the world, the fact that you can, yeah, you're just an inspirational guy right. and a very philosophical guy. Oh, really? Which is great, actually. And <laughs> one of the very few things that I can say other drivers have. A certain philosophy and a certain way to think about life. Oh. Uh. So you're a backbone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have a good one. Oh, God. I'll remind you, this is all coming from the fans. Yeah, yeah, I know. So they know your lingo by now. How often? Wait. Yeah. Oh, oh, that God. would have been smooth. Well, Shit. yep. I'm getting smoked here. Actually, we're pretty even. How often are you steamed? Oh, come on. It's a great question. Purely from the fact that, no, I'm not that often. A lot of people think I'm a, I'm a generally enthusiastic fella. And the reason why is because I'm just, I'm just Why are you trying confused. to answer things like so elaborately? Just how often are you steamed? <laughs> not that often. Okay, good. I try not to be anyways. Okay. I know it's not that good for my health. I agree. And I just royally f*** this up, but. Favorite bottle of wine? Ooh. Now I'm partial to a Chateauneuf du Pape for the Reds. And I'll have to say, Burgundy White's just my favorite. Burg? Burgundy. Special nice. region in France. Burgundy white. Yeah, white wine from Burgundy. That sounds Beautiful. nice. Oh, you'd love it. And there you go, you're catching up real fast. F***ing Clem, I'm gonna get you. No f***ing way I missed that. Well, you're quite lucky. Ugh. You put me in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Now, are you ready for this? Go. Do okay, I go I'll, for the I'll let you hit this and then I'm going to ask the next question. What the? <laughs> I don't what know what I was trying doing? to do there. Obviously, as we said, we're in Bahrain. We are in Bahrain. WEC weekend. WEC weekend. Is this a hint of you being a future WEC driver? Well. The people want to know. They need to know. I know. The news, the news out there, you know, the rumors are flying. What do the rumors say? Uh, the rumors say that Fernando Alonso is supposed to be in a Red Bull next year. Um, uh, and worse comes of this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what like, Fernando Alonso has to do with this. Um, not much, really. But um, no, if, um, Clem will. You'll just have to wait and see, you know. Right. But hopefully, I mean, it'd be great to participate in WEC events and enjoy myself on the uh, the endurance championship. So, right. Okay. Let's see. Should we end this now, because... End my pain. The next question is my favorite one. Oh, you bloody moron. Mate, you're, 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 you're leading me on, right? Yeah, of course I am. What's your next question? You cannot read them. No, I know. I just had a quick glimpse to try and see if I could find out anything, but... I cannot. Well done. I, I'll give you that one. That was good. Beautiful. It's going right there. Is it? Yeah. And there you go. 
JMC has won the game. Do you want to run it back or sit down? Yeah, yeah. So proper sit down. I got smoked. I couldn't. I couldn't let JM lose on his own show. Shut the. <laughs> We're back. Uh, a little bit more settled. We've settled now to to continue this this interview. So listen to this one. This one is one of my favorite ones. Yeah, we gotta move in. You get broken up with right before the feature race. Yeah. Do you do better or worse? Ooh. Do you know what, that is a proper question because it could go either way. I consider myself an emotionally stable guy. Right. So I think I'd do all right, actually. I'd probably do better. You do better, why? T tell me your thought process into how you're gonna channel that to do better. Well, you channel all these, let's say, powerful emotions towards yeah. your, your drive, towards your goal, which would be to win that race. Right. So, what kind of emotion are you Because I'll tell you how I see it. I get broken up with right before the feature race. I cannot go into sadness. I just need to get angry. Oh, no, for sure. You know, oh, I'll when you're angry, you do better. Oh, so actually, the proper thing would probably be saying either I'll win it or I'll bin it. That's probably the, the answer. That's, that would be your approach. Because yeah, you're going to go dive bomb at T1. You're not going to think twice. Yeah, you won't um, care. But yeah. It's yeah. a good question. It is a great question, actually. <clears throat> Any pre-race rituals you have? Always put on my right sock before my left. Really? Yeah, the accelerator tends to be a bit more important in racing than That's the brakes. What about what side do you get into the car from? Oh, always from the left. Yes. That, do you know why? Everybody's I, the same. I think it's because of karting. It is because of karting. Because of the engine. 100%. Favorite circuit? Sandvoort. <laughs> It's not, it's not yeah. really that difficult. So, no, I well, mean, and you won, of course. Performance-wise, I would say Zandvoort has been great the last few years. Yeah. If I had to pick one track, I mean, I've never raced there, but I've always really wanted to go, and I'd probably say Suzuka, just from the onboards. Same. From the mm. feedback that every driver's raced there, they've always said Suzuka is the best place to, um, one of the best places to race. So. Suzuka and a Super Formula. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen the onboards. It would be crazy. What's your opinion on IndyCar? I love it. Yeah. So cool. So cool, right? I mean, how can I put it lightly? If only more people watched IndyCar and less people watched F1. Yeah, I know what you mean. Just basically, I mean, firstly, from the, I guess, the show standpoint, at least IndyCar, you get proper racing. It's generally a different driver that wins every weekend, or more or less, let's yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and It's a lot more like F2 in that sense. Yeah, and I think. Yeah, I think better show. as a whole, it's a, it's a better show. Yeah. If you were a chair, who would you let seat on you? Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> you answered so fast. Mariah I've Carey. gone with the times. <laughs> Mariah I mean, Carey? Yeah, we're in November, bro. Mate, this, she's like 60 years old now. The tunes are about to come out. It's, it's almost December. It's practically Christmas. <laughs> I mean, it was either her or Michael Bublé, and I'd rather pick Mariah Carey. <laughs> and if you weren't a racing driver, what do you think you'll be? Oh, now we've got into a proper, proper question. Um, <laughs> probably a stockbroker, you know? I fancy myself tickling at the old markets there. Yeah? I like the numbers. And... <laughs> yeah. There you go. This is a deep one. Oof. Hold this on, is a let deep me focus. One, but I want you to answer quickly. Okay. Like what comes up? Would you trade your best friend for an F1 seat? No. Okay. Now think about that again. No. No. Who's your best friend? I mean, it depends on what what aspect you want me to talk about. If you want me to talk about racing, yeah. I guess the closest racing driver that I have today is probably Kyle Collette. Yeah. And no. 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 Because I value... I don't think a lot of drivers would say that. Well, the thing is I value relationships a lot more than <clears throat> most things in the sense that um, the people you have around you are probably the biggest impact in your life yeah. as a whole. So, no, I wouldn't change what I've got around me at the moment. I mean, I've got really good friends, really close friends, both F2 and outside of racing. And... Um, no, I wouldn't trade that for what about anything. What about a testicle? Would you trade a testicle for an FMC? No, you're probably talking. Now you're talking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> they can take that ball away right now, brother. <laughs> this one this one was a, a weird question because I didn't know what they meant. And we all three of us had like a different perception angle of it, right? Okay. How do you get the raising 
<laughs> the racing driver is without being a racing driver. Ooh. But first of all, like, what is the racing driver is? I mean, that, there's a lot of hype around it, but I, I don't, I don't see it. You know, what, what is the racing driver is? Formula One, the popularity nowadays. Right. Okay. I think you if you that? say you're a racing driver, you've got a pretty cool job. Right. Pretty different to, to most people. So I think that's um, a unique selling point, as you would say in the old business world. Selling point. Right. A unique selling point. So I think that as a whole, that's probably the driver, isn't it? Let me put it to you this way. If you were a stockbroker, yeah. how would you risk out in, in the wild? Mm. Uh -huh. Probably say no racing driver at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. You, still, you know that, still use racing you know that Juan Manuel Correa? Yeah, yeah, he's my friend. That's, that's how you do it? No, no, of course not. But I don't know. It'd be difficult to sell yourself as a stockbroker. I mean, I, I don't know. I literally don't know. But... Yeah, I know, I know. It's difficult to picture yourself <laughs> in a different life. Okay, this one is, I, I find it a little bit boring, so I'm gonna add some spice to it. Oh. What, what is it like being a Formula 2 race winner? Yeah. How has your life changed? Oh, mate, it's f barely anything's changed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Barely what? anything. people probably think now, you know? Oh, no, mate. Nothing changed, right? Nothing changed. Yeah. No, no. Um, I think all it really changed was the sort of six hours that came afterwards, as in I don't remember them. If I hadn't won that race, I probably you would. You would remember, you, ha you would have some recollection. Yeah, I would have some recollection. No, 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 it's a race winner, no, nothing's changed. But being an F2 driver, obviously you're very privileged to be in such a position. All right, have you ever, be honest here, have you used your win to, you know, to risk to riz somebody somewhere. up. Well, that's be sound. honest. Be honest. Honestly, I'll say no. But it does sound pretty good to be an F2 feature race. So you winner. mentioned it. No, of course not. <laughs> so, uh, so. F2 racer sounds fine. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather win the Monaco Grand Prix or the 24 Hours of Le Mans? <sighs> now you see, I've never done the 24 Hours of Le Mans, and I've never done the Monaco Grand Prix as a F1 driver. But I what, think what Monaco in itself is pretty unique, but I don't know. I feel like Le Mans is something else because it's it's thing is on in a, in a hour and a half race in, in Monaco in F1. If you're starting on pole, unless something goes really wrong, you've won your race. So it's not it's complex to get on pole, but the race in itself is just a procession in a way. The 24 hours of Le Mans, so many things can go wrong. So many different things can affect your race, and ultimately, you don't need to just be quick. You need to be lucky. You need so many things to come into yeah. place. That I think Le Mans probably more of um, yeah, it's probably more gratifying. I, I I think I would go with uh, Monaco for myself. And Monaco's the glitz and the glamour as well. Yeah, Trust me, uh, that podium yeah. does look good. I, I would take either. Both would make for a great both, Instagram both would be cool pick. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Would you rather have dicks for fingers or a dick for a nose? Now that's a complex one. Tell you what, that is the most difficult question <laughs> out of the set. <laughs> Probably dicks for fingers. Dicks for fingers. I mean, it'd be quite impractical in terms of racing, but... Yeah, but they'd also get hard. They'd be hard. If you get, if you get excited... <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Tell you what, the vibrations in that race car, sometimes they do make you go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that one's getting cut. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's yummy. Well, that has been um, that has been 21 questions with Clem. It may not be 21 questions, but worst case scenario, just give me a call next week. We'll organize another shoot. We'll we'll do some more questions, but thanks for coming, brother. Pleasure as Appreciate always. Appreciate you. And thanks for answering the questions. We'll see you on the next one. See you later.